Okay, good afternoon. I hope everybody's having a great day. The hop his head is everywhere, right? So welcome, Sandy. Anyone who is new, um, I stream every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Um, I also have a co-host, Kathy Burke, who streams with me. I also stream on her channel on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. and co-host her channel. Her link is down below. So subscribe if so you can get a notification when I go live. And I appreciate you being here. Um, I wanted to share with you guys some stuff uh, I've also gotten from Michelle. We're trying to get her to a thousand subbies. And so basically one of the recent things I purchased from Michelle was uh, the same thing that Penny had showed was this awesome big fat wide washi tape. And I'm going to show you, I took some strips of this and basically I layered the strips on this piece of paper along with some other washi tapes. And I then took uh, magicals and ran the magicals all down it and um, then we what stamped and glued the butterflies it, this was a project that we saw um, all oh, was her name Eileen uh, someone else do I can't think of her name at the moment this was April 25th anyway I had used this tape here and just it was nice because you're supposed to use torn strips Oh, it's Karen Tamar. And anywho, I added it to my garden journal. And so here on my channel, um, I am a mixed media artist. Uh, Kathy and I do many, many things from collage to acrylics to watercolors. You name it, we do it. So there is, uh, you will never see the same thing twice. We do all sorts of different things. And um, this was added here. The other the other thing I purchased from Michelle some time ago was this is the brick paper pack. I can't find the uh, paper pack that I actually purchased. It was called the uh, Metal Textures. It's made by the same company, and except it, of course, is not bricks, it's metal textures. And one of the things that I made with these uh one of the things that i made with these was the um a little mini book and i uh added a few things and there's not a lot this was a texture die that we made it look like a brick wall with the little tim holds people and then we did like the little raindrops on the acetate and it was quite fun to do um, I don't have you open on YouTube. You're going to have to wait a second, Johnny. I can't do this on StreamYard. One moment, please. I will make Michelle 2L mod when I find her in chat. Hold on. Oh, why am I not seeing her? Michelle, type something in so I can see you again. Oh, wait, I see her now. Hold on. Okay. So I added Michelle to L as moderator. There you go. So in this process, I just folded up some paper and made this little mini journal. I haven't worked in it much, to be honest. Um, this was some uh, things that I did using Art by Marlene. But the paper is pretty cool. It's pretty grungy. This was a Tim Holtz dragonfly that I die cut and added vellum to and added on the cover. So that was a lot of fun. And recently what I made, um, which was super fun, was this cute journal. And um, I did this the other day on my show. And this one I used some of Michelle's trim which is my favorite trim she makes uh she sells these awesome trims and i sewed these together underneath the tim holtz dolls which i know she sells and uh, made a little paper doll and in the background what i did 
was I stitched Michelle's papers into the background. Michelle's, my favorite thing that Michelle sells are her, her, I hope she's, I she's, I assume she still sells these. Um, they are the tea dyed, coffee dyed papers, and she makes beautiful, beautiful papers. And um, this one I sprayed with some, uh, with a Tim Holtz spray, but the rest of these are the pinks, the purples. I have bought tons of these from Michelle. I definitely am addicted to these and I can't help myself. So she also used to do envelopes and tags and uh, file folders. And I have to admit, I have a horde of these and, and I won't, and, and uh, I just love them. So that is, these are my favorite things that Michelle makes are her beautiful tea dyed or coffee dyed papers and her trims. I buy these and also the fabric flips. The other thing that I have purchased from Michelle is uh, her Art Alchemy paints the same as Brooke. I have purchased all these from her. They are really nice and I really um, would say they're like a golden. They're very liquid. They're very nice and uh, I really enjoyed uh, playing with these on the jelly plate the same as Brooke. They're very translucent, very nice. So Michelle sells an sort of amount of mixed media products, which is the kind of art that I do. And you will definitely um, find what you need and enjoy it, be able to use it in all your projects. And one of the neat things that she gets in so periodically too, is she purchased, um, I purchased this from her, which is a sewing machine drawer. I was looking for these. She messaged me. She had some. I purchased this from Michelle. And what I am putting in these are my flashcards. And these are flashcards that Kathy and I have been doing. We have like at least 40, I think, or something like that we're up to. And every week, uh, this is what I'm using, actually using this for, but for purpose, for display. I put those in there. Hold on. There you go. So I'm storing these in here and every week what we're doing is we're doing three prompts out of this book and we're putting them on flashcards or whatever you want to put them on. I am using flashcards and I have been storing these in Michelle's, oops, that's a blank one, in Michelle's sewing box. So that's what I am using this for. Like I said, we do an array of things. You never know what we're doing. And like I said, it's nice to be able to go shop at a store that has many many uh mixed media products for your you know for whatever you do right um so for examples you know um we like to do collage i like to i say weeks kathy's not here um i like to use rice paper stencils stamps i mean it's a lot of fun and i think that mixed media is in my opinion the best because you never get bored. You're never doing the same thing over and over. It's always changing. And I absolutely love to do different things, different styles. Um, keep it interesting, right? So these are just some of the recent things that I've been working on in my graffiti book. I really have had a lot of fun. And I've been mixing manufacturers lately, which has really made it uh, even more fun. You see this one, I did some stenciling. I did some collage here. I just use oil pastels and drips and paints. So it is an array of everything, but that's what I like to do. And I like being able to shop at a store that has all this stuff. See, I try to be prepared when things are flying everywhere. So if uh, you have any questions, um, you can ask in the chat. And we, uh, I do have a giveaway, so I want to get that going. So I have a $5 gift certificate for uh, your crafting source, Michelle's store. So I'm going to do a giveaway, and then she will give you, uh, email her. She will give you a, a number when you check out of her store and you can use the gift certificate at the store and buy you something. And I want to get that going. So let me open up my random.org. And we have 73 in chat. So let's up this 
All right, let's up this to 100 so we don't have a bunch of duplicates. So I'm going to put in the go and then key in a number, one number only, and the first close without going over wins the gift certificate to go and, and uh, shop at Michelle's store. One number only. And when it's all entered in, I will hit generate and we'll get the number. And uh, also, yes, there will be a giveaway over at Michelle's. If you leave a comment in her video, uh, let's see, 27th at 4 p.m., she's doing a giveaway. It'll be so much fun. Thanks, everybody, for being here and going through the hop and supporting Michelle and getting her to the thousand subbies. Uh, she helped me get to my thousand subbies, and I really, really appreciate that. And so I wanted to get on here and do the same for her. So I'm going to let it run for another 30 seconds. Everybody put their number in. And like I said, you can use it to buy you something fun from her store. In, and you can shop online. If you can't go to her lives, you can also shop in her store. So I think she's, and she also has a Facebook group. So you can always get in contact with her. So depending on, depending on your schedule, you know, you can shop anytime, which is really great, I think. So it's fun to shop in person, I think, just because of the fact that we get to go in there and we get to, you know, hang out and talk and chat with everybody while we're shopping, right? I mean, that's the fun part. So I'm going to put in, I'm going to get ready to put in stop. Are we ready? All right, I'm going to generate the number so you can see. The number is 27. So I'm going to have um, my mods here, Helen and Eileen, look through and see who is closest without going over. Oh, wait, I see Yvonne Aliso. She has it on the dot. You see that, Helen? Yvonne Aliso. Yes, she has it on the dot. 27. Woohoo! Congratulations. That's awesome. You can go over there and you can buy you, uh, buy you something and put it towards your shipping or whatever you want to do. Have some fun. And if you can email Michelle, her email is in the description below, and she knows about this uh, giveaway, and she will give you uh, email Yvonne the number for the gift certificate to put in when you check out from her store. So just grab the below her email. This is great. Thanks, everyone, for being here. And I think who is up next? I know Johnny will put in the next link. It has been my 15 minutes flies by quick, y'all. I was nervous. I was very nervous today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thank you all for being here. And everyone's done a great show. I've been really enjoyed it. And we got to get her numbers up. And I think hopefully we can do that today. Next up is Pam. That's fantastic. Oh, thanks, Joy. I know it uh, wasn't anything fancy, but I just do live streams. Kathy and I do here, so it's nothing fancy, nothing recorded. It is what it is. We get on here live. It's a chat and art show, and we really enjoy it. So that's how I base today's stream for the giveaway. So head on over to Pam's, and I will see you all there. Thanks, everyone. See you later.